six-month-old presents with a runny nose, wheezy cough, and mildly increased work of breathing. He has no significant past history. All right, you have your scenario. Grab your cheat sheets or whatever you're using. And remember, if you're using Braslow, red to the head and head to the heel. You can see this little one falls into the red zone. And now to Scott for your quick tip. So if it's the middle of December and a little couple month old kid comes in goobering and wheezing, it's RSV. And if it's not RSV, it's simply RSV. Otherwise known as bronchiolitis, otherwise known as this little kid is clogged up with boogers. And if a kid's got a viral infection, meaning they're clogged up with boogers, antibiotics don't work. Number two, a kid is goobering and wheezing, so what we do is suck out the boogers. And most kids do fine after we suck out their nose and their mouth. However, we get children up in the PEDS ICU on ECMO or bypass from RSV. Because once they get it, regrettably, there's not a whole lot we do that actually works to make you better. So the kid is goobering and wheezing. Can you try albuterol? Sure. It's sitting on the counter. Try it. And if it works, you can send mom home with it. By a hour max, meaning an hour max. If it didn't work, it ain't gonna work. Shut the stuff off. What works better in some studies is racemic epi like we give for croup. There's a couple studies looking at heliox like we do for asthmatics and also hypertonic saline neps as well. But like most things, what's preferred is to prevent. So what that means is there's an immunization and it's technically not an immunization, but most people will call it an immunization, otherwise known as the RSV shot and that's called Synergis. And why that's important is if a little ex preemie shows up in the ER and mom says, you don't need to check my kid for RSV because he had the RSV shot. Can you still get RSV? The answer is yes. But what they'll show you is the immunization works, but it's not 100%. But happily, if you've got the shot, you don't get RSV nearly as often. And if you get it, you're happily not nearly as sick. So why don't we give the shot to everybody is twofold. Number one is called they don't need it. Because 99% of the people outside of men, right? Because we're incapacitated when we get a man cold. But for most kids, all we do is suck out the boogers, give them chicken soup and they do fine. The other reason is called it's expensive. And depending on where you're at in the country, Synergis is currently upwards of $1,500 per shot. And high risk kids, until they outgrow it, get five to nine shots a year. But if you're an ex preemie or a hard kid who's by definition high risk, a shot in the thigh is a whole lot cheaper than being intubated in the pediatric ICU.